Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing a test on Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer as well as the Seafoam Engine Cleaner. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe. So my Chevy S10 is just having a lot of issues as far as the engine. The oil pressure is low, it's not idling correct, and it's just the performance is all whack. I'm well aware that the engine needs to be rebuilt. I'm just trying to make the engine last a little bit longer because I have some projects in front of it currently and I just want it to be somewhat preserved when I actually dig into the motor. So I'm not sponsored by both of those products. I bought both of those with my own money. This is just to uh, see how well they work. So just stay tuned and we're gonna get to it right now. As you currently see, the oil pressure is, is somewhat low at about 2,500 RPMs. I mean, it's pumping some, but hopefully that Lucas will uh, bring it up while it's warm. So here you can tell, currently has the check gauge light. The oil pressure is low. So it builds back up when I grab it some, but when it's warm, it's, uh, it's low. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of this Lucas oil stabilizer in and uh, see how well it works. So I just drained this thing about a quart, like it says in the bottle. Well, it says to uh, replace it with a quart when you do an oil change, but I just recently did an oil change on this thing. So I just drained a quart and added a quart of that. So let's go and see how it, uh, how it changes it. It's the first start. So probably needs to work into it, some thick stuff. So I'm going to let it work in there for a little bit. Definitely increase the, the oil pressure though, I'll tell you that much. Still, still kind of hot too. So, got to let it work into it. Probably a couple minutes, five or ten minutes maybe. gonna do that intake clean as well so it stops seems like it's about to die clean out that carbon all right I currently have it hooked up like it says on the bottle I got it all warmed up I have a little J hook in there and it's facing towards the intake so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on I probably won't be able to do this because I don't have a cameraman, but I got to hold the uh, RPMs at like about 2,000 while I spray it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for about 7 minutes, like it says. Let it heat soak for a minute and then drive it for about 10 minutes and see how, uh, how it changes. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm currently doing the 10-minute drive under load for the seafoam treatment right now. So I'm going to get back with the end here in about 10 minutes. All right, it definitely seems to be running a little, a little bit better, actually. Um, it definitely is missing slightly, but I'm just trying to make it last till I'm able to rebuild it. I know the check check gauge is uh, showing and the oil pressure is low, but as soon as it starts pumping, it definitely raises. It definitely did not do that before, so I feel a little bit better driving this thing than before so and it doesn't seem like it wants to die now definitely comes down smooth smooth response so I'm gonna say both of those products definitely did help a lot so feel a lot better driving it now so this has been about 20 miles of highway driving so I'm all the way warmed up so that Lucas is definitely working. About, I would say probably about 20, 22 PSI of oil pressure, and which isn't bad from where it was before. It was almost pretty much at zero before. So it definitely, it's definitely gonna preserve your motor 
if it's worn down this much. I know for a fact that I have to rebuild it. Like I said before, I'm just trying to make it last until I get to that point because I have a few other projects that I have to finish before I can go ahead and rebuild the motor. So I would definitely say it definitely works. It raised up my oil pressure and it will make my motor last just that much longer so I can, you know, have time. So it's definitely a temporary fix, but it definitely works. And that sea foam spray for the intake definitely helped a lot too. I definitely noticed a lot better performance and the idle is definitely a lot better. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.